Rwanda. Yeah. Now, I saw recently that you been got married in Rwanda to a lovely young lady out there. Correct. Yep. So it begs the question, is Rwanda a safe, developing decent country absolutely it's a really uh, decent country it's one of the safest countries in the world i've been there several times i own a home there uh, i spend many many weeks out there uh, and it, as i say it's very safe it's got a good developing uh, economy uh, so there's no reason why you couldn't send illegal immigrants there so why is it do you think simon that certain sections of our society and politicians say it's a cruel and wicked thing to do to send people who are asylum seekers to Rwanda? I think the people on the left in politics are being ide ideological about it. Uh, they, they would prefer open borders for the UK. So any reason that they can come up with for, for not sending people out of this country, they will come up with it. But I have to say, some people on the left are verging on being racist about how they talk mm. about Rwanda. Because the reality is that it's a very developed country. People call it the Switzerland of Africa. Uh, they already take uh, refugees on behalf of the United Nations yeah. from Libya. Yeah. Uh, so there's a good argument for sending people there, no doubt about it. Emma, you're our first ever right in the corner, so not to leave you out, Rwanda. You've heard what Simon's got to say. Do you think there's any problems or have you got any problems with sending um, illegal migrants or, or asylum seekers to Rwanda for a fresh start? Well, I actually think Simon's hit the nail on the head right there. And the way some on the left have talked about Rwanda is disgusting. And I have no idea what that must do to people over in Rwanda, hearing people in our country talk about their country in that way. Uh, is there some problems with the scheme? Yes, I think perhaps in the way that we've processed the agreement and the bill. Oh, is it a great deal? Is it going to work? Perhaps there's a few things that need to be ironed out. And I will say one thing that I am concerned about is the safety of those that are LGBT asylum seekers and making sure that they are definitely respected when they're when they're in Rwanda. But overall, look, let's look at what the, what the left wants to do. Do they want to stop people cross, making dangerous crossings, mm. risking their lives? We've seen the devastating consequences of that in the last couple of days. Yeah. Do they actually care about that? Do they actually want to see that stop? Because we need a policy that addresses that and saves lives. And I think Rwanda goes some way to doing that. So, Simon, Emma's got a few concerns, not many, mm -hmm. overall yeah. supports the idea. Yeah. How can you address those concerns? Yeah, well, she mentioned the issue about LGBT. Yeah. There are no issues. There's no legislation in Rwanda that says you can't be gay or anything like that. Mm. Paul Kagame, the president of Rwanda, has said, uh, made it quite clear, he's not interested as the person leading the country. He's not bothered about what's going on in the bedroom. This is quite literally what he said. Yeah. His, his focus is on growing the economy, running a strong, stable democracy. And so that's what he focuses on. So, so that allays that fear. Uh, people that go out there will have opportunities. There's no doubt about it. It's a growing economy, but they will have to pull the socks up and get on with yeah. it. It won't be. And what we should remember, Lee, is that we aren't under an obligation in the UK to send these people to somewhere that's the same as the UK. Yeah. Uh, if they are fleeing <clears throat> violence and war, uh, then Rwanda is a safe place to go. All we have to do is provide somewhere safe to go. So, Emma, I'm going to come back to you. So... You've heard what Simon's had to say, sound like a great country, uh, a go-to country. So why do you think some of these illegal migrants, and I refuse to use the term asylum seekers, it's illegal migrants, you know, if they want to play the, the asylum system, why aren't they travelling to places like Rwanda instead of making that perilous journey to, to the UK? Yeah, I, th I think that's the question that everybody's asking, isn't it, really? About, you know, if you're fleeing from war and you're looking for a safe country, why be so resistant to go to a safe country? Um, and I think that's what comes back to with our only asylum see seeker system is we need to make sure that we're processing claims for a legal route for people that for reasons of perhaps family or something, some other reason require uh, settlement in the UK. And actually, these illegal crossings are making it really difficult for us to do that. And so I think going to Rwanda is a safe country. And I think that, that that's the question, isn't it? And I think it could only be answered by those people as to who are saying that they don't want to go to Rwanda. I don't think that's a question that we can answer because we can look at Rwanda. Uh, mm. Simon's just got married there and so knows better than anyone. It's a safe and welcoming country. Well, there you go. 